I heard you telling me we've moved from being a telco to a fintech. Mm-hmm. Now we are evolving to a technology company. Mm-hmm. You know, the story of Safaricom is super interesting for me. Mm-hmm. And I have talked a lot about this. So this is not new, but just to recap, mm-hmm. you know, what is interesting and what this story must be told in detail yeah. how a telco yeah. evolved to become the center yeah. of financial services yeah. in this country yeah. i mean the story of mobile money can never be told worldwide yeah. without mpesa being yeah. at the center of this yeah. conversation but it's not just P2P, peer-to-peer transactions. Mm-hmm. It's become literally almost or even the operating system mm. for financial services. Mm. I would dare say today, no bank, mm. not just in Kenya, mm. but across Africa, will actually say they have a digital strategy yeah. or a mobile bank strategy without yeah. mobile money embedded in that strategy and in that conversation. True. And I do not think that would have happened yeah. without the trailblazing conversation and the trailblazing execution that M-Pesa brought to the table. Absolutely. You know, Ali, you speak numbers. Uh, the M-Pesa operations core is, is just run above this floor. Up uh, here. Just up here. Mm-hmm. And we do 80 million transactions a day. That's more than PayPal does globally. 80 million transactions, transactions a day. We move 1 billion dollars. That's more than PayPal? Moves globally. Wow. In a day. 1 billion dollars moves through that platform every day. You know, I had uh, <laughs> I had a very interesting statistic a couple of years ago from a World Bank study mm. that said that one in every 10 human beings Mm. that uses mobile money Mm. regularly Mm. is a Kenyan. (laughs) I I don't doubt it. I I think it's (laughs) going to increase, Ali, because, you know, you won't believe this. On Saturday night, we did an upgrade on M-Pesa to 3,500 transactions per second. Per second. No downtime. Wow. You don't even know. I don't know if we'll announce it, Mm. but we're preparing for the holiday seasons. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Kenyans are, are very, 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 I don't know if it's shopping for clothes or they shop for food, but the highest m transaction day annually is usually uh, Christmas Eve. Of course. But I think this time it's falling on a Sunday. So it's likely going to be Friday, Saturday. Mm. But usually the Friday, Saturday before Christmas, the systems go. And hey, so, so usually we usually have to do a lot of massive holiday prep most of the times i work even this year i mm. usually work on, on christmas eve partly because i, I understand there's other people I would, sacrificing yes i would say here. your core teams will probably be working yes the holiday. and so if they are there i don't want to be having a sipping some uh, yes something on a beach somewhere so we'll sacrifice and then maybe january we take our break but ali the the fact of the matter when you look at you know we've had the opportunity in the last one year to go to 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 the Asian giants, and they were looking to learn from us. We went to learn, mm. but then one of the most interesting things, and I'll just go a bit into fintech yes. that we do on Mpesa, yes. is real time settlement. Mm. And that's why, if you ask me, my favorite way of even sending money between banks is through Mpesa. But everybody because it's does real time. That. It's not just <laughs> everybody does that. Everybody, so it's school yes. fees or what? Everybody. I does just that. say. Child, this thing first I used to do bankers checks. Mm. I don't even know that whole thing of queuing. Now, as long as I know the 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 pay bill number of that bank in your account, mm. you'll have that money instantly. I and it's faster than any other, be it a Swift, be it a clearing, be it Pesa Link, and Pesa is instant. You know, a couple of years back I called you mm. and I told you, why isn't this app giving me all I need to do is type the name of a bank and it should give me 
Yes. The pay bill. I shouldn't worry about shouldn't even worry about how it. what the number of the pay bill is. Yes. Today that's happening. Yes. Uh, seamlessly. Yes. Just select. on the app. Yeah. yeah. And I used to memorize them, you know, mm-hmm. two four seven, I don't know what six hundred what right yes. now you don't need triple two triple right now, just select and another interesting thing, Ali, we are redoing as much as Safari come up. We are also taking over M Pesa app fully. And so by next year, March what you will now see on M-Pesa app is going to be fantastic. But but the point I was making, Ali, is that M-Pesa is so critical to this economy. But then we said, you know, when I joined Safaricom, we used to have upgrades taking 10 hours. Now we, now we are doing them. In maximum time is three minutes, even if it's a big hardware upgrade. Micro, it's three micro minutes. Services. Yeah, moving to cloud, microservices mm. architecture. Uh, just saying, if Visa are doing this if the best in the world are doing this why can't, why can't we? we we do it and then doing it with our local engineers and then the teams realize you're actually part of something big not just in kenya but globally and last time uh you know we, when we set the record of three minutes on a large upgrade the team were like wow and i said guys we need to go under a minute and some of the upgrades like this last one just entirely no downtime and they realize they can actually even step up to be CTOs of fintechs globally Absolutely. because of what they've Absolutely. been able to do. But now we're saying we built a, a great uh, tele, uh, telecommunications company. We've built a great fintech. We can also b- build a great technology company that when you think about great tech companies, you're not just thinking about the US, UK, it's India, global. India. India India challenges me the most. The mm. number of CEOs mm. in big tech that are Indian says it starts at home. It starts in India. And I think if Kenyans are going to lead big tech, we have to start having big tech companies but in this one of country. The things, one of the things that India has done well mm. is on the education side. Mm. Um, I was having a conversation with one of the senior government officials a couple of days ago in Mombasa. Uh, at the East Park um, um, conference, and I challenged, I challenged all of us, and I said, India has this ecosystem of IITs, Indian Institute of Technologies, yes, across, and it is the best of the best mm. Indians who qualify to get into those uh, yes. institutions, yes. and if you look at those. CEOs mm. and senior people yes. in global companies, not just the US, yes. across the world yes, yes. that are Indian, you can almost literally trace uh, 100%. their origins yes. to the IITs. Yes, not MIT, mm. to IITs. IITs. Yes, IITs. you're very right. Yes. And, but, but there's this belief that we can do it and they'll take and learn whether you've come set up a BPO with them, they're learning. 